Alpha lipoic acid is one of the most well-known supplements for detox, especially when it comes to heavy metals like mercury. In this video, I'm going to explain how it works, how to take it safely, especially if you want to detox heavy metals, the right dosage and potential side effects. Let's jump in. Okay, first things first, what even is alpha lipoic acid? It is a naturally occurring sulfur containing antioxidant that is found in basically every cell of your body. It plays a huge role in energy production, but what makes it really interesting is that it can bind to heavy metals like mercury, arsenic, and lead. It acts as a chelator, so it grabs onto toxins and helps move them out of your body. You can get a small amount of alpha lipoic acid from foods like spinach, broccoli, and organ meats, but for detox purposes, you will need a supplement because the doses have to be much higher. One of the things that makes it stand out from other detox supplements is that it can move between both water-based and fat-based environments in your body. That's a big deal because most toxins and heavy metals can hide deep inside fat tissues, organs, and even the brain. Alpha lipoic acid is one of the few things that can actually cross the blood-brain barrier and help pull metals out from the brain safely. Which brings me to how to take it correctly. There are two approaches here. The standard approach is to just take around 300 to 600 milligrams per day on an empty stomach, or sometimes higher doses that are split into several portions. These are the doses that you will find online when it comes to its antioxidant effect, or sometimes even its supposed weight loss effect. The second approach is very specific to heavy metal detox, especially mercury, and it is based on the Cutler protocol. It's all about using small, regular doses of alpha lipoic acid every few hours, typically every three to four hours. If you are very strict about it, you would even have to follow this schedule during the night, which obviously compromises sleep quality a lot. The reason for this tight schedule is that alpha lipoic acid has a very short half-life, meaning it doesn't stay active in the body for very long. If you take it once and let it wear off, it can drop metals in places where you really don't want them, like your brain or kidneys. But if you keep the level steady by dosing every few hours, the supplement keeps holding on to the metal until they are fully excreted. The idea is that consistent around the clock dosing is key to doing it safely here. Now, most people doing this start with very low doses, like 12.5 milligram or 25 milligrams per dose, sometimes even less. It's better to start low and slowly work up over time. Once your body adjusts and you're not experiencing side effects, you can then think about gradually increasing the doses to let's say 50 milligrams, 100 milligrams or more. A typical detox round would be taking alpha lipoic acid for a few days and then not taking it for another few days to let your body rest and recover. Now, I have to say that I like the general idea behind low dosing it especially if you suspect that you have a high mercury load, because when taken in small frequent doses, you avoid these big spikes and crashes in your blood levels of it. This helps it bind metals gently, and like I said before, it will be easier for the body to eliminate it without dropping it in places where you don't want it. So for people who are already sensitive or dealing with a lot of toxicity, this method definitely lowers the risk of harsh detox symptoms. That being said, I still don't think alpha lipoic acid should be a first-line detox agent because it is still a way of forcing metals out and it doesn't align with the idea of ionic mimicry, where metals have taken the place of essential nutrients in your body's enzymes and cells and first need to be replaced before the body can safely eliminate them. Using alpha lipoic acid, even when done carefully, is still using a chelator, so you're still grabbing the metals and pulling them out, whether your body is asking for it or not. So while low dosing is much safer than aggressive chelation, it's important to recognize that it's still a form of forcing that detox and not listening to your body as much. Now, if you're aware of this and are actively replacing the heavy metals with their nutritional counterparts, then using alpha lipoic acid later on in your detox journey can definitely help, assuming you know what you're doing and some of the toxic metals have already come out. This will also reduce side effects that people get when they first start using it. Like I said before, 
The side effects are based on the supplement stirring up toxins and stirring up metals that your body has been storing for a long time. If your elimination pathways like your liver, kidneys, and gut aren't working well, then more will be stored up than they can eliminate at any given time. So you can end up feeling worse because the alpha lipoic acid pulls out too many things that your body cannot process at that time. When we talk about alpha lipoic acid, we also need to talk about its different forms. Conventional synthetic supplements are racemic, meaning they consist of 50% natural R alpha lipoic acid, which is found in plants, animals, and your body, and 50% unnatural S alpha lipoic acid, which behaves like a mirror image and would not exist if it weren't for the chemical synthesis. The problem is that the R form is highly unstable and often begins to decompose during the manufacturing, which is why it seemed impossible for a very long time to make pure R alpha lipoic acid supplements. Nowadays, there are companies that can make it, and these versions are obviously more potent than their racemic counterparts. So if you're looking for purity, you would of course go with the R version. But if you are sensitive, the lower potency of the mixed R and S forms could actually work in your favor because you don't want your supplement to be super strong. What that means is that in such a case, lower purity can actually be a good thing. Of course, you would still want to buy from a reputable brand and make sure the product comes without additives or unnecessary fillers. All in all, I would say that alpha lipoic acid is definitely one of the most potent natural antioxidants and natural chelators that we have which is also why it should be used very carefully. I don't recommend you use it by itself and as a first-line heavy metal detox supplement. Instead, start with a well-designed and gentler protocol and follow that for a while. Then you can add alpha lipoic acid in later on if you want, but it's optional. Online, many people still think that you have to use it to get rid of heavy metals, which is not true. The body has several different detoxification methods and using alpha lipoic acid is just one of them, and it is a very drastic one at that.